right. Well, I don't know if you guys could see this, but um, the reason I haven't done videos, I didn't do videos last year, is I was battling sickness, man. I was really sick. Uh, I could not figure out what it was. <clears throat> I got a, uh, a sore on my butt crack, and I thought it was from riding the motorcycle. It's on the upper butt crack, and it kind of turned into like a boil, right? So I researched it, went to the doctor, and they couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, had all kinds of problems last year, all kinds of symptoms. This year, I uh, had a fever and damn near almost died. Talking 104 fever, screaming, turning around, aches and pains. Uh, then I, I found some videos on YouTube. I started looking at various diseases with the symptoms and I found uh, Dr. Horowitz uh, talk about Lyme and it matched my symptoms. Well, I also I went and did some regular testing and the regular testing came out negative, but I had found out that the regular test is over 30% false, uh, false negatives. So I took in this advanced test here that we're looking at. I don't know if you can see it. It's from DNA Connections, and it says a Lyme panel. Uh, highlighted microbes detected in the submitted sample. Bartonella bacilliformis and Borrelia recurrentis. Uh, Bartonella is a pretty nasty disease. Borrelia recurrentis is recurring fever. So. These Burgdorferi, that's the actual official, that's rust on my finger <laughs> for my fence lock. It, this is the Lyme disease. So in order to be clinically diagnosed with Lyme, you need one of the Burgdorferis, Borrelia. But I have the re Recurrentis, which is very similar. It has almost all of the same harmful effects, if not even worse. So we don't really call it Lyme disease per se, because it's not Burgdorferi, but it is a vector-borne pathogen, which means from any kind of tick flea or anything that bites human or does blood feeding. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't remember when I got bit by anything, you know, but I did have a tick on my arm and I swapped it off uh, out in my yard. And out here, you know, have you seen some of my videos? You've seen deer walking around the streets. So there are deer out here raccoons, wildlife. Um, they do say you can get the recurrentus from hair lice, which I did have hair lice when I was a kid, so who knows. But uh, the symptoms really started about a year ago, and that's when my vitamin D was low with my regular blood work with my doctor, so they started enhancing my vitamin D with pills. But I believe the vitamin D was down because of these diseases here. Okay, so if you do get bitten by a tick or you're concerned, go see your doctor right away. If you catch it within the first 30 days, a round of doxycycline can sometimes fix it. If not, it's going to be permanent. I can never give blood again. So my strategy needs to be to contain it, to suppress it. And I tell you what, I was almost not able to walk. I lost use of one of my knees. I was on a cane. It went into my hips. And, uh, you know, the doctors, they don't want to believe you. Luckily, I pushed through that test, paid it myself, and now they can't give me any more grief about it being something else right so I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the three main things I use of course go see your doctor they typically will give you doxycycline rifampin there's uh, several other drugs depending upon what your tests say if it comes up positive okay <clears throat> but these disease these vector borne diseases are all potentially fatal so ignoring it is not going to get you any good <clears throat> so I found a, a Dr. Thomas Levy He's a cardiologist, uh, and I found some videos on him that uh, he encountered a, a clinic called Riordan Clinic, Dr. Riordan. <clears throat> and Riordan Clinic does intravenous vitamin C for several diseases, but specifically for cancer. So I listened to his, his stuff, and I wound up ordering this product based on his endorsement. It's Live On Lipospheric Vitamin C and normally you'll get 30 in this container here it's one gram of vitamin c and one gram of uh phospholipids which is basically a soil oil kind of container this vitamin c uh, gets into your bloodstream very fast and they call it ivc in the box so when i had the fever uh 
fever was kicking in and I was getting sick, I took large amounts of this and it really knocked it out. Knocked out the symptoms, knocked it out of my knee, knocked it out of my hips. Uh, it's down in my foot and my toe, on my big toe right now where I can feel kind of numbness. So the spirochetes here, which is, uh, it has four or five different forms. The, uh, and what it can do is like a, a flea egg almost, which it goes into a cyst and your body cannot detect it. It also has proteins on it that fake out your, uh, your body's immune system. So the other medication I use for that is this Allison Max. What this is, is basically when I went on research Google type Lyme, you know, homeopathic uh, stuff for Lyme, I, did, I researched all of the antibiotics too, but I also want to know what's over the counter. This is garlic based. So everybody said use garlic. Because uh, they have a, 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 a salt sea protocol where you use sea salt, a large amount of salt, and this. So what I've done is I have the salt, I have this, and then I've added uh, Allison Max and turmeric curcumin. Okay, I'll explain this in a minute. But this is the uh, antibiotic portion of garlic. When you cook garlic, it, it loses it. But uh, inside of a garlic clove is a couple of chemicals divided by cells. And when you bite into it, they'll merge together and form allicin, which is a broad spectrum antibiotic. So I've been using this instead of antibiotics to protect my stomach. Because I just got through rehabbing my stomach, which I believe now was the Lyme. I didn't know what it was, but I had stomach problems and bleeding in my stool and uh, had celiac disease, so I, I switched to uh, a diet that was gluten-free. I used Dr. Berg on YouTube, Dr. Berg Healthy Keto. Uh, now this, this curcumin is good for mycoplasma. What mycoplasma is, is almost a cancer type of organism that is associated, usually found with these vector-borne researchers. They all team up, I don't need to work against you. So this knocks it down. Uh, take one of these a day. Right now I'm taking four of these a day. And I'm taking six grams of this. Four in the morning and then two in the evening. Sometimes more, if needed. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm doing much better right now. I've got my ability to walk without a cane for a few minutes. Uh, this is, I don't know if most of you guys don't know, I have blown disc and I have a bad back. So, I'm already a disabled rider, as it is. This just makes everything worse, everything worse. Uh, but this vitamin C has opened up a new door on life, so it should be a real nice summer for me. I just have to keep it suppressed. I don't know, you know. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, I had some more, I was gonna read some more information on my tablet, but I forgot, but uh, just go, you can go Google it. There's tons of videos on this stuff. Uh, they're horrible. But uh, it was in my blood cells. When I took this, this almost killed me. <laughs> because this gets a hydrogen peroxide at a high level, hydrogen peroxide effect. Started killing my red blood cells that had the bacterium in them, man. And my breath got short, I almost fainted. I was in bed for two days. Uh, it was close to death. I mean, I could, the Grim Reaper came to visit me and I fought his ass off, you know. So I had always prepared for the two-legged uh, variety of scumbag of humans, human beings to kill me. That's, so that's why I carry a gun. You're not gonna shoot this uh, thing with a gun. You know, it's microscopic. So what are you gonna do? All right. Uh, so, you know, at least I get my videos going now, get my health going now. I might join a gym. I just don't have the money for it right now, but uh, we'll see. So I just wanted to share some of this stuff, let people know about these Things. I'm going to make a little bit more formal video on my salt sea life of spirit Combine them all up kind of recommend recommended homeopathic treatment for people Okay. All right. Well have a great day. Thanks for watching